Ah, super delicious cold water from the coldest water bottle. Highly recommend this water bottle. Keeps your water cold for up to 24 hours plus. Use the link in the description below with code FLANKSTER to get 10% off. Let's get to this unboxing. What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Today we're actually doing the unboxing upstairs because this box is ridiculous big. It barely fit in my freaking door. Jupiter's cock. Oh man, it put me instantly out of breath too, just literally carrying it from over there to here. So we're upstairs. Here's, you know, the living room. Got vaulted ceilings up here. I could actually fit life-size Hulkbuster in here. But we're going to go ahead and open this up. Yeah, imagine one day I actually can put statues up here. Remove that couch, put life-size Endo there, life-size Iron Man. Oh my goodness. If the day ever comes. Anyways, let's open this bad boy. Alrighty, so once you open it, there, I mean, look at all that extra space. They could have definitely reduced the size of this box. I don't know if it necessarily needs all this extra protection, plus the bubble wrap and everything, because shipping cost on this was really expensive. It was like $300 economy shipping. Like, that is ridiculous, you know, because I know, like, the throne is, like, PVC, so I feel like they probably didn't need this outer box and could have saved us on shipping costs without this. Alrighty, so here is the box. I had to completely remove the plastic, Jon Snow. It's a pretty big size box, no doubt, but that added 30% more, maybe 40% more of how big this is. It's a decent weight, pretty heavy, right in. So let's uh, get this open now. Alrighty, and this is what we see. So we have a little uh, pamphlet here. It's been taped, and it's really talking about the instructions. The cape is located at the bottom of the statue. We'll just remove that for now. And we did get some nice uh, straps, so we don't need to even take the box out. So once you have straps, you can actually just leave the styrofoam in like this. It's actually really convenient because it's annoying always taking styrofoam out of these boxes. So you just leave it like so, and then we can pull this out. Hold on. Alrighty, let's look at it. There we go. Yeah, so as you can see, the throne is quite massive. And it's just that layer, but then, it, like I said, the cape is at the bottom. So let's get this throne out. Alrighty, so here is the throne. Looks good. The Iron Throne. Yeah, it's quite big as you can see. Uh, next is gonna be Jon Snow. Alrighty, so here is Jon Snow, the sword, and you lift this styrofoam out, and that's where his cape is at. Alrighty, so we got all the parts uh, of the Jon Snow statue here, as well as him there. Now, mine had something, like, come off. Also, there's a bunch of styrofoam there I'm going to have to use, like, tweezers to get. So this piece, I don't know what this goes to. I've been looking for, and it looks like it's like glue that came undone and almost what looks like a peg. And it was stuck to the styrofoam uh, when I took this off. And I've been looking for where it goes. I mean, I'm thinking somewhere along here because that's where the styrofoam was covering. But in all honesty, I have no idea where this goes. I thought maybe right here, but it doesn't look like it. And I've been looking all over. So I have this handle, but I don't see anywhere like of an unglued spot. So I don't know where to put this, honestly. I don't see any visible, you know, like breakages. Like if this wasn't here, then I wouldn't think I have a breakage. But seeing this, I'm like, wait, where does this go? Because I mean, it looks like it was glued. And I mean, it looks like it could, you know, go somewhere like right there. But I just don't see where the there's like a glue come off. So not a hundred percent sure where this thing goes. So yeah, I am going to contact prime one about that. 
Uh, in addition, one of these things was bent forward, you know, due to shipping. So I used a hair dryer to go ahead and fix that. Now here's John So's sword. It's not metal. It's very light, probably PVC. And then here is his cape, which has like real uh, animal fur, you know, maybe rabbit. And it feels very nice. And then here is Jon Snow. Now he looks absolutely excellent. I saw some people posting photos of him and they were like disappointed. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? This looks amazing. This is really good portrait when I see it. Now this cape is completely optional. So if you just, you know, he doesn't peg in or anything. You know, look at this flat butt. He literally just sits here like so. And then you can uh, stick his sword up here, which actually you might want to do that first. I'm trying to see, I probably need to do that. But I'll put this, I do want to use his cape because I think that's really cool, but I wanted to show you this real quickly. So, I mean, Jon Snow himself isn't very tall, but the, it's a big statue, like, this is 22 inches deep by like 19 inches wide. It's a pretty freaking big base. Now that's the reason the box was so massive because John himself didn't take up a lot of space in the box, but this base is huge. I mean, not only is the Iron Throne huge, but you get a lot of surrounding base. You know, like look at all this base, like right here, here to the back. If they wanted to shrink that, they definitely could quite a bit. Now I like it. It adds a lot to the piece. And Iron Throne does look amazing. It's a huge throne. You know, I'm trying to think of all my chairs. This is probably the biggest. I mean, Thanos on Throne was quite big, but this thing's massive. So let's go ahead and put this cape on and get that sword. And if any of you have an idea of where that would go, please let me know. I also need to remove that styrofoam that got stuck to the bottom of the sticker at the bottom of the base. And this is limited to 900, just so you guys are aware. Alrighty, so we do got Jon Snow all set up. Now, you do have to have him sitting slightly forward on this chair. Uh, so the sword will go inside this little, like, you know, crack in the ground. Otherwise, the sword will start to bend. Uh, you know, it is plastic, but uh, so it's not really going to break, per se. And even if you bent it, you could use a uh, hair dryer to go ahead and get that done. Now, the coat is fur coat, uh, straps like an X and then gets tied in the back. It's, you know, decently tight. Uh, best do it, you know, I held it on the ground and flipped the cape over as I crossed those and then tied it in the back, easier with two people. Still need to remove this, although I wonder once I put it on my shelf if it even matters. But overall, here he is, first impressions, it's as good as I expected which makes me happy. You know, I set expectations for every statue I buy. And when I don't, you know, meet those expectations, I'm disappointed. So for him, he met all expectations. I expected him to be big. I expected his likeness and portrait to be fantastic and the overall quality to be as good as my other Prime 1 One Force, which all the boxes were checked. So I'm a happy, uh, happy statue collector. So let's go ahead and uh, spin him around so you can Gage, yeah, so as you can see, you know, he's not, he's on the front part, not leaning back. He's leaning forward, holding his long claw sword. Here's the back. So I do like this uh, under base. I think it looks really good with like this gold accent. There's freaking styrofoam. See, when they don't put the stickers on perfectly, styrofoam can get stuck in it, which is annoying. Yeah, it's in the back though, so it doesn't matter. The overall throne chair is pretty heavy and it definitely, like you touch it, this feels like PVC. The base is polystone, you know, and it looks really good. It looks like, you know, swords molded together more or less, you know, like melted down to form a throne. So very, very cool. Now, because John does simply, you know, just sit here and same with Khaleesi, they technically are interchangeable. Now, John wouldn't fit good with the dragons, but Khaleesi would go fantastic on here. And I'll show that to you once I put him over there. Let's check out John, though. So, like I said, the base, I love it. You know, the ground right here looks and 
feels fantastic. Lots, uh, you know, feels like an old castle look. Here is John's boots. He does have that like micro texture detail, just like all their one force. Now with this pose, he is covering all his like armor on the chest. Not a big deal. I do like the pose. The pant texture work is great. And he got his armor. You know, it looks really well done. There is the portrait, which for me looks absolutely fantastic. Now it's a Blitzway portraits are made of PVC. So they have a different look than polystone. Frankly, I think it looks better. You know, even though I know in a lot of collectors' minds, they view PVC as bad. However, when you're able to achieve this level of detail and realism, uh, I much prefer this. It's basically like a Hot Toys head. You know, just in one fourth with a statue polystone body and whatnot. So I like that direction. I think it looks really well done. The hair is very finely sculpted. Uh, his beard looks good. The eyes look fantastic. He has some scars. His ponytail. So it overall looks really, really well done. It's a good sized one fourth uh, overall. You know, like John feels like a typical Prime One one fourth scale statue. So very, very cool. I love it. Uh, now let's go ahead and put it next to Khaleesi. Alrighty, so here is John So next to Khaleesi. They definitely look absolutely fan frickin' tastic together. Both thrones, both giant bases, both Blitzway head sculpts, both absolutely fantastic. Now, I still think Khaleesi is definitely the better of the two. Uh, for, you know, the fact that it's Khaleesi with three dragons. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, check that out, though. Super, super cool having that, and I was able to fit the eggs in between the Targaryen sign. Now, I had kind of planned, if you guys watch my channel, doing potentially Jon Snow over there. Now, his base is quite deep. I don't think I could get him to fit there without him sticking out, so I don't think that's an option, honestly. But, I'm going to go ahead and back it up so you can see the whole wall. It always feels good to, like, complete a wall. You know, I always had that empty spot for the last forever, and now it's finally, you know, done. So, I love that. You know, I do want the Night King, but there's just no way I could put my entire Game of Thrones right there. Maybe I'll have to try it. I need to move Vader and put Snow over there to see if he would fit and how much space would be for the Night King if I wanted to do all Game of Thrones over there. Now, and the reason I would do that is so I can move Gremlins back here and then do Red Sonya with Vampirella right there, which is something I do want to do. Uh, now, they fit very comfortably in this larger 48-inch wide, 24-inch deep garage shelf. Like, that's a comfortable fit. If I move it over there, it's going to be not near as comfortable and it will be very tight. So I do like this more open fill. I feel like this is a perfect you know, display shelf for these two with my props in the movie. So I'm very happy with how that looks. So very, very cool. Here is the visual from when I'm sitting down. Now, John is looking straight forward. Same with Khaleesi. You know, ideally this would be a piece better displayed up high, frankly, both of them. However, you know, with my collection, unfortunately, my upper shelf is taken over by these well, not unfortunately, but yeah, these grails up here. So yeah, overall, I do love this Jon Snow statue. I think it's really well done. I think if you own the Khaleesi, you kind of have to get this. Unless you're going to do Infinity Studios Khaleesi bus next to Khaleesi. Now, if that does have perfect likeness, I will 100% buy it and reconfigure my collection. And if honestly, if anything, I'd probably move Khaleesi there. Infinity Studios Khaleesi bust and then do Snow and uh, Night King and move Alita back here, move Warcraft away, you know, and do that. Uh, it, that one just depends on likeness because if likeness is perfect and it's, you know, immaculate detail, I think will be the best bust ever created and impossible to top. Like nothing could top that. One of the most beautiful women in the world, most badass woman in television history with three dragons. Are you freaking kidding me? You can't beat that. Anyways, let's go ahead and do a little switcheroo and see how that looks.
Alrighty, so check it out. They both do fit. Uh, now, it's not like a 100% perfect fit. John's foot is off. Khaleesi's hand isn't touching. But it does work. So let's say you don't like this base for Khaleesi, which I don't know why you wouldn't. Uh, and you wanted her on the Iron Throne. There you have it. Khaleesi on the Iron Throne. How it should have ended in Game of Thrones and never made her go mad and John having to kill her. Are you freaking ah, stupid writers? Still, I don't let that final season ruin the fact that this is the best show ever created, in my opinion. Nothing tops Game of Thrones. You know, for me, it's the type of show where you're on the edgier seat, watching it Sunday, the moment it's live, super excited, just absolutely loving it. And I think they're doing a fantastic job on House of Dragons. I'm really loving it. You know, season one, amazing. Already got everything back in place, because uh, this is, of course, how I'll be displaying it. So yeah, overall, I'm very happy with Jon Snow. Highly do recommend it for a one-fourth Prime 1, priced at $1,200. Give him a solid like eight and a half, nine out of 10. Very, very good piece. Now, if you're looking to buy this piece, I would suggest just going through Sideshow. I went through Prime 1 and Sideshow got it sooner. So use the affiliate link below if you're looking to purchase this and I helped, you know, sway you to buy this. It does help the channel. And let me know what you guys think. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.